Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Science for Everyone. Today the video is related to in silico vaccine designing and the title of my today's video is how to predict antigenicity and toxicity of epitopes using wedge submission. So basically this video is related to vaccination tool and toxin spread tool and basically these two databases are used to predict the antigenicity and toxicity of epitopes. So as you all know that uh, uh, previously I have recorded a video series related to vaccine designing. So in that video series, uh, I show you that how to predict uh, the antigenicity and toxicity of epitopes while using a single epitope prediction. So that uh, method was a little bit uh, laborious because uh, when we predict our epitopes from our protein, so they are basically, uh, those are a lot of epitopes, okay? And then we have to prioritize our epitopes. So basically uh, in today's video, I will show you that there is also a specific option in the uh, oxygen and toxin prep tool that is known as batch submission. But uh, preparing the epitopes for batch submission is a little bit tricky and it needs a little bit coding. So I will make it very much simple. So if you're having hundreds and thousands of epitopes, so you can easily predict the Vex, that antigenicity and toxicity of those epitopes in a single go, okay? You do not need to apply single submission, single epitope submission. You just have to uh, prepare the file of the epitopes and then you can submit it to the database and it will predict the antigenicity and toxicity of those epitopes in a single batch submission way, okay? So as I have mentioned that uh, we use basically in the previous videos lecture, I use IEDB, immune epitope database, um, to predict the and to predict the epitopes from a protein okay and then after that uh, when it was uh, epitopes prioritization phase basically this was this was the video uh, that was basically used for the epitope prioritization phase okay so yes this was the video this one okay and uh, i have recorded it uh, an year ago so now i have realized that there is a specific option of wage submission okay so i think you have watched this video if you are following my channel and you are interested in vaccine designing okay so basically now I will, today I will show you that how to ensure the batch submission, okay? So basically this is the vaccine um, and this is the toxin spread, okay? So now it, it can accept batch submission, okay? So first of all, let me show you that uh, what you will do, for example, you are having a list of epitopes, okay? And you are having a, an Excel sheet. So for example, these are peptides or epitopes and basically I have prepared it. So basically they are, these are 27 in number, okay? So in the previous video, I show you that uh, how to predict it. So we, I show you to single, single copy this epitope and after that we give it to the oxygen tool and we um, ensure the threshold and use this bacteria or virus and then we submit it, okay? And after that, it predict that uh, either it is an antigen or not, okay? So what type of nature it is having. So now it is an antigen. So if you're having 27 or 30 epitopes or you, if you're having hundreds of epitopes, okay? So it is very much laborious to predict the, uh, the antigenicity and toxicity of each epitope individually. So this video is about batch submission. Okay, so let's start that how to proceed with it. So first of all, if this is your file, if you are having plenty of epitopes, so arrange, make an Excel sheet, very much easily make an Excel sheet, just like this, uh, just uh, new and click on this, uh, this Microsoft Excel sheet. And if when it is opened like this, so you can paste your epitopes in, in this such type of manner, okay? Uh, place the heading as peptide or epitope and after that these are your epitopes, okay? So once the file is prepared, so what will you do is that uh, you will open Python. Python, okay? I think you are familiar with Python. If you are not familiar, so no worries. It is just a simple code and I will give you the script. You can use it all on your own, okay? And I will uh, show you that where to change the, the script, okay? So now this is the Python. You can easily, okay? Now after that, this is the script. Pasta sequence script. Okay, so first of all, you will import the library, import pandas ASPD, and okay, just like this, paste it and you will import it. Now, after that, uh, the second code is that uh, we will load the Excel file, okay? So very much easily, uh, we can load it like this, that uh, load the Excel file. So data, uh, I have made an object and then I have called the pandas because I have uh, imported the pandas library. And after that, I pd.read Excel. I want to read that Excel file. And basically, where is my Excel file? present so it is present in d folder d directory in epitopes directory okay so d um, partition and epitopes directory so basically this is the path d and epitopes and after that uh, you will place the name of the file so epitopes1.xlsx so basically now this is 
how we load the file and data load head. So basically, this is the head and the first five rows, okay? So peptide, and these are the epitopes, okay? So I just uh, um, mentioned the head of the file. You can easily also see that uh, how is my data, okay? So this is all my data. It has 25 rows, and these are the epitopes, okay? Now, after that, what will you do is, now this is the main code of it. Now you have uh, just upload the file, upload the library very much easily. Uh, just apply this code, okay? Now we will apply this code and, uh, okay, that's it. So what I have done is that uh, I mentioned that uh, um, when the output file should be in FASTA, uh, the name of the output file will be peptides FASTA.txt. Basically, it should be in TXT format because the base submission file is, is only accepted in .txt format. Then what I do is that I applied a for loop and I tell uh, the Python that after that, when uh, the a single row ends, so replace this, uh, this uh, greater than sign, that is basically your faster format, and then after that, seek, and then index one. So one, two, three, four, five. You will see the, the change, okay? Um, if you are using this code, so just modify this, this path, okay? Because you have to store it in your own directory, okay? So very much easily, do not make any type of changes and apply the code, okay? So the code is applied. Now we will see that what happens, okay? So now we are having this, uh, this is the output. Okay, so now this is arranged. Okay, seek number sequence number one. This is FASTA format. Okay, we all know that FASTA format start from this uh, greater than sign. And se sequencing uh, sequence number one, and this is our peptide. This is our peptide. Sequence three is our peptide. Okay, so basically this is the epitopes, and now it is arranged in this order. So if you are if you are having hundred thousand, two thousand epitopes, you can easily arrange it in this way. Okay, so basically this is the FASTA format, and this type of file is accepted by by the oxygen and toxin bread when inside that file, the epitopes are arranged in FASTA format. Now, I will show you that how to upload it and how to uh, check the results, okay? So, okay, now what we will do is that, now this is my peptide, it's FASTA. I will go to the oxygen tool. Now, I will click on the choose file and choose file, I will click on this peptide file, okay? Peptide, FASTA, and open. So now it is uploaded. We will set the threshold. If it is bacterial epitopes or viral epitopes, it's up to you and submit it, okay? And after that, now this is the base submission. You can see that you can see that who, what, or which one is the non antigen and what one is the non antigen. Okay, so very much easily, this is the base submission. Now you can easily study it and filter out your non antigen and antigen. Just like here, you can apply this non, and now you can know that 18 are non antigens, and the rest of them are the antigens. Okay, so you can easily just uh, uh, filter out your results. Okay, now this was about the vaccine, the base submission using vaccine. Now we will come to the toxin pred, okay? So toxin pred uh, also as a accept base submission. You will just click on the base submission. And after that, you can also upload the file and you can also just uh, do a simple thing. Just go to FASTA, okay, no, 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 this one, FASTA, FASTA, and just copy it. And after that, paste it here, okay? So now these are your sequences, okay? Sequence one, two, till 26. And after that, set, set your threshold as you have uh, you are willing to do. And after that, run analysis, okay? So it will take a little time because of the plenty of epitopes. And after that, uh, the results will appear. So now these are the results, okay? So oh, these are the, this is the prediction, non-toxin, non-toxin, okay? So if you, you are baptized are toxin, so it will predict that toxin and non-toxin. So instead of using a single epitope, you can uh, ensure the base submission and you can easily do your filtration and your epitope prediction or your vaccine designing should be can be a little bit in pace okay so i think uh, you have learned the video just use that script make it on uh, modify it modify it and after that use the python and then you can easily ensure the base submission okay so for thank you for today inshallah I'll see you in the next video related to bioinformatics and i am telling you that i i am making bioinformatics simple okay so stay tuned to the channel you will see a lot if you like this video, so share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos related to bioinformatics. Thank you very much. God bless you.